Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today we are in Tokyo! We're actually in Akihabara, which is like the anime district and I've been watching anime literally my entire life. I remember watching Inuyasha and not being able to read the subtitles. I'm here with Lani and we're gonna explore this today and then head to Team Labs, so let's go. First day, let's go! Found our first gacha haul and I'm gonna get a Mithy or we're gonna try or I'll try one of these I think and they take Suka so that'll work. Knickknacks are so cute. And these are surprise, like mystery bags for pins. There's so much in this anime. It's like so busy. No, it's so busy. Oh my god. Please. I just found the manga of the first anime that I ever watched. I was literally telling you about it just now. This is Uniyasha right here. And there's so much selection in this anime. It's like five floors. They have Blue Lock as well, which I love watching. And of course they have Demon Slayer, which is like so popular right now. Cover art is so cool. I love how there's so much stuff you can buy. This is how many floors there are. And we're actually gonna go up to Five Club Comics. If you guys remember from my Korea vlog, I actually freaked out when I went to the Boys Love Manhwa like pop-up in the mall. And now I'm going to an entire floor of BL. So I'm really exposing myself right now. This is exactly where she wants to be. There's an entire character section of Blue Lock, which is insane. It's like all the stands that you have. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Blue Lock got super popular because of the World Cup. And they were wearing like matching jerseys and stuff. And it was really cool. There's like a bunch of like knickknacks and stuff. Like stickers, like you can literally buy single stickers of each character. Lonnie and I came into another like figurine store and they have Dr. Stone, which is so cute. They have main character right here. After his like transformation, he looks so cute. I actually want to see if I can pick that up. This is like the chibi section. It's like everybody looks so cute. And there's even like BTS. And then they have the regular figurines as well. Okay, Lonnie and I had to wait in this line, but we're in Penkai Pen. It's a ramen chain and we're trying to figure out how do you pay our bed for ordering right now. And it's hard. The language barrier is so real.
get seated at this restaurant, but it's okay. We're at Kamehameha Boat Station because Tsukiji Market actually closes at 2 p.m. and it's like 5 o'clock now and we also didn't want to get caught in rush hour, so... Good morning guys. So we absolutely crashed so early yesterday. We got home at like 8.30 after having dinner and now it's like 7.30 and we just ordered room service and we got American breakfast because we're actually really, really hungry. We haven't eaten in like 12 hours. So this is the spread that they brought and it looks so nice. And I just got a like bacon omelet. I thought the bacon was gonna be in the omelet, but anyways. And then I got salad, Lonnie got scrambled eggs and cornflakes with regular milk. And then there's like so many things and it looks so good. I'm excited for this bread. <laughs> it looks so good. It's like warm. Yeah, I'm super excited. I can't have yogurt, so I had to get salad. <laughs> We're praying that we make this trip. Where's Lonnie? <laughs> the best way I can describe the heat is that it's sweltering. Lonnie and I are sweating so much. I'm late. What? That's but it. we made it to Shiro's, which is the Totoro Cream Puff Cafe that we were planning on going to for so long. It only took us like 30 minutes, but there's also a 10 minute walk. But it was all downhill, so I don't even know how bad it is gonna be getting back to the station, but we made it. This is what we're trying to get right now. because we're a little afraid of getting like heat stroke and we keep buying water from like every vending machine but then we finish it by the time we find another one which is like every fucking like 100 meters so i ordered strawberry milk gelato and stationery store, it's like a few floors, and my classmate Julia actually recommended it to me. There's so many things in here, like there's Olympus film cameras, which I haven't been able to get a hold of. I think Yannick's are so expensive. And here, it looks like they're priced around the same, kind of. This is like the Olympus 35 millimeters. And they also sell the film, which is so cool. These are all the Bougeau materials. This is like peanuts, like washi tape. There's so many things and options for these 100 notebooks in this section. <laughs> this is so cute. And there's Sanrio Diaries. I'm gonna have to get a physical calendar for 2024 because these are so adorable. Oh my gosh, look at the Mythy cards. I love that. The pen selection alone is overwhelming. I think I'm gonna take this pen. I honestly don't know the difference between all of these. Wait, I love these mini plates. And there's also like the classic like Mythy like light up lamps. I love Haribo. And this is a pack with mini packs. These cards are so beautiful, they're like 3D. Wow. Hey, look at this little orchid. These are some extreme cards. Look. <laughs> We're honestly just browsing the consignment stores. We're at Kindle right now, which is like in the heart of Shibuya. It is so busy. There are so many people in so many food places. I can't even tell like if half the places are restaurants or there are stores because I can't read Japanese. 
So Lani and I are finally getting lunch at Gyokatsu, which is like really popular chain where you basically have like the cutlet and you like cook it on top of the stove. to Harajuku and Oote Sano to be specific. We're gonna go to Vintage Kyo and Kitty Land because we wanna do a bunch of like souvenir shopping, except we're running a little bit tight on time because our Shibuya Sky Rezo is at seven and it's currently five and it's like a 15 minute subway there and back. We made it to Vintage Kyo and I'm so excited to go inside. Some damage may be done. Still TBD based on what we find in there, but I see so many Chanel classic flaps that I am. I kind of want. But I still don't know like if I like why it was so short. But I kind of like that. It makes it look like snug. But also I'm not a silver girl. Lonnie and I are actually freaking out. Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> These are so cute. Oh my god, you guys know hip hop was one of my favorite. Pokemon ever. There's all these like build your own like Pokemon like nano blocks. They're like a Lego dude. This is electric type. You have the normal, and then you have grass, fire, flying, poison, dragon. And there's the gacha pongs as well. I think I might do one. This is literally my childhood. Tamagotchi. They make watches now? Fully healing our inner child in Kitty Land. Oh my god. This is where all of our adult money goes. Kitty Land. <laughs> Isn't that so ironic? Let's spend. We went. Oh my god, I'm gonna go fucking crazy. First sketch up of the day, we're gonna do a Sanrio character. Share this one. It's holding an onigiri. It's so cute. Damage has been done. Overflowing. Lonnie and I's feet are throbbing. We just ran like all the way to the station. I don't even know what the station is called. Okay. <laughs> Shibuya. <laughs> Shibuya station. No, we just... had to run to the other station to get to Shibuya. It was a lot. Like we look. We don't even look cute for this oh, no. thing. I think I feel like 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> I think we definitely hit the 20k steps. Steps? We should check. What? What? 11,000. No, that's so wrong. No, that's so wrong. But we made it to Shibuya Sky and we're gonna go up and down. That's Shibuya Crossing happening down there. Like 40 floors down. That's so cool. Fine, I made it up. That's so nice. cities and buildings for as far as you can see around the entire sky deck. It extends like all the way over there and as you keep going like it's just city on city on city on city. 
Okay, so we just finished at Shibuya Sky and I am literally so drained. I cannot feel my feet. They are genuinely numb and I think they have swollen up in my shoes that they don't fit anymore. But anyways, we're gonna get ramen before we head to bed because today has been so long and so busy and I just wanna crash. how a lot of ramen places work in Japan is you'll order like on a screen and you just like print out a ticket and they'll bring it to you and you can like basically have like no social interaction it's like good for like introverts. 